Yes, and I'm here with Ada Gray, who's literally <laughs> my favorite, so oh, thank you I'm so very much. excited. Who is the person that you think is most excited about you winning this award tonight? My daughter and my husband. Mm. Probably my mom. I'm sure it's my mom. It's definitely my mom. Okay. <laughs> Gotta be the wife, man. My wife, probably. My boyfriend. Mm -hmm. My dad. He's not here, but he'll be the most excited for sure. <laughs> well, I had so much support from the other artists in the community mm -hmm. and the crowd. My mom. Definitely my mom. My sister. She is such a huge supporter for me. Um, my daughter is four. My husband is also an artist. Mm -hmm. She kind of went on this journey with me. Probably my mom. <laughs> uh, us. Um. <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> Definitely my partner, mm -hmm. Michael Reyes. Been together for 19 years. He certainly is my biggest fan. Oh, so. that's really sweet. My husband, it, mm -hmm. Kurt, is just, uh, he's been an amazing backer of me, such a beginning. My wife, Abby, she's seen the show almost as much as us. You know, he takes on a lot of parenting on his own while I'm out there doing shows night after night. I think my friends are probably also going a little bit nuts too. Of course my husband, he keeps me calm and keeps me sane. He's put up with me for 19 years. <laughs> <laughs> Do you prefer designing realistic sets or um, more abstract? Realistic sets um, can be a lot of fun because you can really get into the detail. Uh, what was it like doing a Boston accent? God, I feel like her, <laughs> you know, like yeah. that kind of like, it just felt like her. Yeah. Um, what styles of combat for your choreography do you like to use the most? Um, I am a big fan of putting uh, Filipino martial arts mm -hmm. in my stuff. For wrestling in, there's a lot of percussive qualities to, to both of those things that I, that I really enjoy. I saw Bonnie and Clyde and I thought it was a very powerful way that they portrayed outlaws as real people with yeah. real problems. In what way did you uh, relate to Blanche? Um, Blanche and I are from the same part of the country. People may not uh, necessarily dig the way I groove, that I take my tempi maybe a little bit slower than they like, or maybe I take it a little bit faster than they like. Balancing the singers and making sure that the story is being told and heard um, every single lyric, every single word to, for the audience. I think, I think music for a play is one of those things that sort of gets not lost a little bit, but it gets overshadowed by musicals. I guess people don't understand the sacrifices it takes to be a writer. Long, hard hours, drafts after drafts, ne rejection after rejection. Mrs. Lovett is a pretty evil character, but I thought <laughs> you made her surprisingly um, sympathetic. And uh, what way do you sympathize with her? She's a woman in love. Mm -hmm. She is deeply, madly, blindly in <laughs> love. So when they offered this to me, I was like, oh my god, tapping, yes, dream ballet, yes, 1940s, <laughs> yes, yeah, please. I signed on all the dotted lines. What is your favorite song to perform in the show? My Friends, the one that we just, mm -hmm. just did on stage. Very is probably, cool. Yeah. What you call a dream, just because it's a nice, easy ballad. Oh, why do you like that one? Uh, I just love the, the harmonic content of it and the interweaving line between Sweeney and Mrs. Lovett when, when it becomes a duet. It just I just think it's really beautiful and really thrilling, and I also think that it shows a uh, very deep connection between Sweeney and his razors, because it's basically a love song to his razors. Yeah, it, it, it's scary but powerful, exactly. and also romantic, it's a whole exactly. thing. <laughs> what was the most challenging costume that you worked on? A suit that was supposed to kind of deconstruct as the play went on, mm -hmm. so uh, rigged it so that the sleeves of the suit would come off and they would be hanging by ribbon. The hardest part of doing Sondheim is getting the rides. And I'm glad we have reviewers like you because, who just don't. <laughs> you know, frivolously just write off plays. Even if it's a, a play that's not great, there's somebody behind that who put in a lot of years. <sighs> Jeez, that's a, that's, a, that's a great question. Actually, that's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, that's a really good question. Um, oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> um, God, I don't know, that's a hard <laughs> question. What made you want to make Layla The story itself, I just, I, I remember reading it for the first time on a plane and uh, it was an incredibly compelling story. I felt like it was a story that needed to be heard, and I felt like we could do justice to it, and it was a show that needed to, to be produced. What makes Ragtime relevant today? It speaks to tolerance, speaks to the plight of uh, racism in this country and the vilification of immigrants, that those are things that are not going to help move us forward as a, a people. What kind of changes do you see coming to Chicago theater in the next 10 years? Uh, I mean, I think it's a testament, like, if looking out into the audience tonight, there's a lot of brown faces, there's a lot of women, it's a lot of diversity, mm -hmm. diverse voices, telling divor diverse stories are the way of the future and we gotta embrace it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Selfishly, I hope a lot more dance, especially mm -hmm. in Nanak. I'm interested in seeing theater companies take risks. Chicago is a very active community, and I think that makes us unique and 
a wonderful uh, city for theater. There's more diversity mm -hmm. in the stories that we're telling. God, I, I think it's going to just get more diverse and better for it. But I think the immersive uh, theater experience is really where people want to want want to go. And I Hopefully more roles for women. Yes. <laughs> um, more women Thank directors, you. writers, mm -hmm. designers, mm -hmm. um, artistic directors. The importance that um, black women are celebrated. There are so many women, especially those of color, poor women of color whose stories don't get told. And I wanted to be sure that they were also included in that narrative. The light, uh, La Habana Madrid, uh, all this powerful Chicago women um, writing stories. Thanks so much for, thank for you. talking with me. No, Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's so nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I am a big admirer of your oh, work. Thank you. And I hope your voice is one of the ones that uh, sticks around in Chicago and only grows stronger because we need you. And thank you so much. It's lovely hearing your words. You're so smart and insightful and open-hearted and I'm so glad you're here. Thanks so much for talking with me today. Thank you. Thank you very thank much you. for having us. Ta-da! Ta-da! Yay! Ta-da! <laughs>